Likuwa mengi ya liozungumzo na wakenya pia wameshauriwa kukumbatia umoja na kurejesha misingi iliyojengwa kwa miaka 56 ya uhuru kuhakikisha usawa, demokrasia na ustawi. Huo ndi ujumbe uliojitokeza kwenye sherehe ya kitaifa ya jamhuri iliongozwa na rais Uhuru Kenyatta katika uwanja wa kitaifa wa Nyayo. Wageni wengi mashuhuri walihudhuria akiwemo waziri mkuu wa Barbados Maya Mo Motley. Mel Miendo anaarifu zaidi. President Uhuru Kenyatta Kawaida sikukuu ya jamhuri huandamiza mbwembwe na vifijo vya iana yake na hii ya 56 haikuwa tofauti. Tamaduni za jamii tofauti zilisherehekea kwa nyimbo vijana kwa wazee wa kijimoa ya mwaya na vikosi vya kijeshi vilipamba sherehe kwa gwaride ya kipekee kutambulisha bendera yao na kila kikosi na sare zake kikitoa heshma kwa rangi zake. Wanahewa walitumbuiza kutoka angani. Wa Kenya waliburudishwa kwa namna tofauti. Kuanzia wakati wa kuasili kwa wageni wa heshma ambao waliwasili kwa staili za kila aina. Sherehe za jamhuri zilionekana kuondoa tofauti za kisiasa. Kinyume na ilivyo shuhudiwa katika ukumbi wa Bomas wakati wa kuzinduliwa kwa ripoti ya BBI mnamo Novemba tarehe 27 lakini leo rais na naibu wake walibadilishana tabasamu uwanjani Nyayo. Baadhi ya viongozi hawakufika kwenye sherehe na viti vyao jukwani vilisalia wazi lakini hilo halikuzuia ujumbe wa amani na umoja kuenezwa. We are assembled as a people inspired by the firm foundation so that we can build on that foundation and build the bridges of unity, togetherness, and friendship so that together we can eliminate hate, negative ethnicity, and eliminate divisions. We are called upon to obey the law, to discharge our civic duty, to conserve our environment, to care for our parents and our children, to refuse to be corrupt, to be mindful of our neighbors, to bring blessings to the less fortunate, to resist negative ethnicity, tribalism, and religious divide, and everything that undermines our unity and cohesion. Waziri mkuu wa Barbados anayezuru Kenya, Mia Amor Motley, alikuwa mmoja wa wageni wa taadhima katika madhimisho ya 56 ya Jamhuri na hotuba yake ilisisitiza haja ya umoja wa barazima la Afrika. We come to make a better life for them and we do so in a world that challenges us in every way. A world that is confronting now a crisis in our climate that will require of us to change how we live, how we build, how we eat, how we relate to each other, but above all else, how we stand united to protect our people against those who continue to bring this battle and to cause the consequences to our people as you here in Kenya have felt with the floods in recent times. Sikuku ya Jamhuri huadhimishwa kila Disemba tarehe 12 kusherehekea siku ambayo Kenya ilikabidhiwa mamlaka ya kujitawala na serikali ya ukoloni. Mel Miendo NTV